Ballistic Wistfully is a level that instills the weirdest emotions in me. Far different than any other level in the game. The vibe is classy, yet creepy. Energetic, but distant. Pristine, yet dusty. Melancholic, downright odd. How did an impossible level steal my heart as the one of the most memorable levels of all time? Let's take a look at it. In the beginning, I want to look at the end. The end of the level is the perfect embodiment of the vibe I'm describing. The music has calmed down, and we just hear the plucking of a single instrument. It's like the party died down, and this is the dark room after everyone has left. Simple shapes make up the decoration in this part. Clear, defined lines and black and white colors make up the simple theme here. Some of the shapes are stars, and some of the shapes are diamonds. But notice the faded colors. It seems as if the lights are turned off. Why does this part make me think of the haunted ballroom from Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube? And I am dead serious about that. Look at this. And better yet, this part gives me a complete liminal space vibes. It reminds me of this picture. It's like somebody took this level straight out of the back rooms and threw it on the impossible list. Like seriously. But now that you understand what I'm getting at here, let's look at this level in a civilized and organized manner. When taking an objective look at the decoration of Ballistic Wistfully, it's less than impressive. Most of the decoration is stagnant, such as these shapes flashing in and out of the foreground to obstruct the player's vision. Most of the things this level does are big no-nos, major don'ts, but why does it work here? The decoration is not just stagnant, it's unnaturally stagnant. It catches the eye, it forces you to look at it. It's uncomfortable, it's unsettling. Take this wave part, for example. Who in the right mind makes a stagnant foreground decoration that just stays on the screen and stares into the viewer's soul for the entire section? Not to mention that the waves themselves have the most crazy and unnatural movements possible. This part feels straight up like it's in the uncanny valley of Geometry Dash levels. It's almost like it's normal, but not quite. Take the next drop, too. We would expect some insane looking impossible gameplay like we got before, but what do we get? We get nothing. Where's the gameplay? Where's the road? It's so weird. We've been seeing the gameplay the whole level. Why in the world is it just gone all of a sudden? And lastly, what's up with the next part? You guys know I'm a sucker for gameplay flashing in and out slowly on the screen, but in the same way as before, the thing that's flashing in and out of the screen is completely stagnant shapes. In the same way, this part looks like, the, like an old design on an old carpet. It brings back this classy feel for no reason. There's so much going on, but at the same time, it all feels so unbearably empty. I don't know where the song comes from, but it's just the right amount of low quality to make this level even more memorable. If it wasn't for the unsettling and off-kilter song, the whole level would go down as one of the most mid-levels to ever touch the GD servers. The song is clearly using some kind of MIDI program to simulate the playing of many instruments. The song is painfully robotic, almost not even pleasant to even listen to, and I absolutely love it. When I first saw this level, the song got stuck in my head for a long time. You know when you're up late at night and you can't go to sleep because you're slightly disturbed? This song plays in your head. That's what's playing in my head when I can't sleep at night. Its repetitive nature is calming, yet brings insanity. The beats sound like trash, yet are catchy at the same time. The stringed instrument is classy, yet old and distant sounding. The song acts like it has a drop, yet has the spice of a white piece of paper. It feels like a paper warehouse, a cubicle in a 10,000 square foot office. The taste of paper mache. A high school when it's dark and empty at night. An old and fancy medieval castle without a soul in sight. It's unnerving, unsettling, and downright creepy. And I don't have too much to talk about here except for a few specific parts. The parts in question are as follows. The cube before the first drop, it goes hard. And the cube before the next drop, it goes even harder. I just had to mention these. And I think about this repetitive music scene pretty much every day, so I wanted to give it some credit. 
In conclusion, Ballistic Wistfully is one of the most truly unique experiences on the market as far as Geometry Dash is concerned. Really, it probably is one of the only levels that made me feel like I was in the back rooms. The vibe is impeccable, so much so that it was incredibly difficult to describe in a script. The only way I could do it is through random comparison and metaphors so that you, the viewer, might be able to grasp even a little bit of what I was thinking. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I'm still trying out new types of content and this one is extremely fun to make so let me know what you thought. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.